guys welcome back to the channel what's happening a lot of people are rushing to the hospital in barbados they're coming down with a lot of stuff the hospital did put out some information but they still did not say enough we got some sources and they indicated certain things to us so stay tuned we'll be right back So, this is the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Barbados. They did put out a statement um, based on what they were seeing, the influx of people coming into the hospital. So, we're going to break down that uh, information for you as well and tell you what our sources told us also. But let's go to the information from the hospital in Barbados. It says the QEH medical team responding to A. ED patient surge at the accident emergency department surge. And they're saying that the accident emergency department is responding to a significant increase in the number of patients presenting for treatment with various medical complaints. As the AED medical team works to manage the surge in attendance, we want to remind the public and other options for medical assessment and treatment to avoid any extended wait in the department, especially if your case is not urgent. So they're telling you here in this release that patients can see treatment at 24 hour clinic, in different places of, uh, around Barbados. So the press release really did not say anything much. It just told us basically that there was a surge in patients at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, they really did not tell us what these medical complaints were, but there has been a surge. So we tapped into our sources in Barbados and they've been saying to us, look, a lot of people in Barbados have been coming down with a lot of massive headaches. Um, young ladies been having their menstrual cycle two and three times a month instead of one. A lot of people are coming down with depression and anxiety. Um, a lot of people are coming down with heart issues, cardiac issues, cardiovascular problems, high blood pressure, um, diabetes. And you may say, look, this is normal in these Caribbean countries. The NCD cases are high. But what they're saying is that it's more than the norm. It's more than the norm. And so saying like, so what could be causing these things? I mean, something has to be triggering these things. And they're saying to me, look, the country is highly vaxxed in the Caribbean, almost like more than 50% of their population took the vax. And um, a lot of issues have been happening since then. Take a look at, at this. If you take a look at this, this is the Barbados 19 COVID vaccines administered. Up to December 2023, as you notice here, 384,000 49 doses of vaccine have been administered in Barbados and people vaccinated 163,853 fully vax 155,000 plus so that's like basically 55.14 percent of the population that's more than half of the population he was saying to me that they're not going to tell you the real reasons why people are coming there. They're not going to tell you what the issues are people are showing up with there. Um, respiratory ailments as well, cardiovascular problems, people are breed, uh, breathing problems. Ladies are uh, just having their periods two and three times a month. It's just a lot of things have increased, he said, and it's time that these governments really own up to the damage that have been done by these facts. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know. What's taking place in your neck of the woods, where you're from, and we'll continue the discussion at another time. This was just an issue that popped up in Barbados, which I think I should really bring to the fore.